Freiland hat mir äh, jetzt mal ein Video geschickt von James Baldwin und das kenne ich noch gar nicht. Oder habe ich noch nie gesehen. Und da kann man sich bei, bei James das angucken, äh, wie es aussieht. Falls ihr James Baldwin nicht kennt, der ist auch im realen Leben mittlerweile gefahren und fährt, glaube ich, auch immer noch im realen Leben und ist auch im E-Sports unterwegs. Also das ist quasi so ein Hybrid, kann man sagen. Es ist zuerst so ein Hybrid und ich will jetzt mal sehen, wie das bei ihm aussieht. Weil von den meisten Menschen, die im realen Leben fahren, kann man immer noch was lernen. Warum ist das so leise? Warum? Welcome to my humble abode. We're going to do a setup tour today. I'm not done one in two and a half years. So let's go and check it out. Come in. Come in. Britisch Englisch, 10 von 10. Häuser erkennst du immer sofort, dass du in Großbritannien bist. Auch richtig schick, ne? So die ganzen Come on. Türen und die Verzierung. Upstairs. Those of you that watched that video, which I'll link in the card above, you will remember where it is in my house. But here ich, würd, ich persönlich, ich bin ja ein bisschen größer erbaut, ich würde die halbe Krise kriegen in dem Haus und Platzangst. Für mich wäre das nichts. Darum geht es jetzt hier eigentlich gar nicht, aber das, wenn ich sowas immer sehe, dann ist immer, uh, ist das ein bisschen laut? Wieso? Ich finde das eigentlich ganz gut. Oh, Moment, wir brauchen noch einen Untertitel. Ich wurde letztens nämlich netterweise äh, darauf hingewiesen, dass ich doch bitte die Untertitel anmache. Here it is, in 2024. It's a bit different, but today basically we've got my chilled out casual games area here which was the same before pretty much different monitors so this pc it's it's been through a lot i did a 24-hour race a year and a half ago 24 hours of spa competing for the championship on acc on this pc i used it all the time i left it running overnight and we were like doing really well on course for the championship i woke up at 3 a.m for my stint i did a video about this actually so i'll, I'll link it in the card above the thing had turned off and I was like oh okay maybe there was a power cut or something and the thing would not turn on and I tried everything I tried completely resetting it whatever I had to send it away after the race to get repaired but ihr hört jetzt nicht hin und ihr hört auch nicht hin das gilt nicht für euch niemals okay wir machen so einen Quatsch nicht Gut, muss man ja hier gleich mal klarstellen. Ich finde es ja äh, sehr nett, dass äh, James das als sehr viel bezeichnet. Ruhe da unten. <lacht> ja, ja. <lacht> When I sent it away, I didn't package it enough properly. So in the transportation of it, all this glass shattered and the repair specialist oh. sent me an image of you've sent us your PC to get repaired but this has happened to it and the thing was in bits so um fair play though they they completely revamped it and it works nicely now so I do use that day to day really good but yeah it's been through a lot so it's probably on the way out soon over here I've had a bit of a rearrange bit of a tidy up got some of the trophies out so we've got British GT trophy here we've got champagne bottle a scale electric Uh oh. That's probably broken, but it's of my McLaren 720S GT3 we used in British GT. Oh, we got it. see here, if you look really closely, you can see it's got my helmet paint job. So, <laughs> that blew me away. Whoa, that's ja richtig cool. Ooh, that's really mir auch in den Raum stellen. When I found that online, that was, that was cool. Loads of spare bits in here, cables and all that boring stuff. I've got my lid, which. I don't really use that often at the minute, but hopefully I can use it more. Just a little <laughs> close up for you lot. <laughs> it's got a drink system in here. It's got the inbuilt headset. It's just a really cool helmet from Stilo. So big up Stilo for giving me that. Or I bought it, but yeah. Various bits and pieces here, just bits of memorabilia. Uh, spare SIM cube there, because just in case. Laptop, virtual reality headset, which I still use if I ever go to a real car or if I'm training for real life racing, I will still use that. Oh. Over here we've got old lids. We've got the first ever sort of karting helmet I got painted that's a bit bashed up. So I dropped it. Got that there. Another old helmet there as well. Got this amazing cap from the OG. Is this oh, do I my Bathurst GT? Ah, it's eSports. Okay. Is it Jensen Team Rocket RJM? We've got my patriotism. Is that how you say it? What? Yeah, the British flag. Nürburgring that should light up, but it's broken. So that doesn't light up anymore. I love this painting here because it came out straight after the British GT round of our car, mine and Michael O'Brien's that we used that weekend, and also Jensen Buttons and Chris Buncombe's sister McLaren that was used that weekend as well. So love that painting. Another really cool one there that someone sent me, so big up to them. My favorite track on the wall there that's lit up, Suzuka. 
So those of you that watch my streams will know that is my favorite track, closely followed by Brands Hatch. I do like that. Guter, gut, guter Geschmack. Sehr guter Geschmack. Let's give a little bit of that. But aside from everything else in the room, this is obviously the main thing, probably the reason you're watching, is the rig. So I will nerd out and tell you everything I can about this rig so you really know what I run. Obviously the specs are down in the description below as well so you can really check it out for yourselves. But microphone for streaming, Cobra seat seat, proper race car seat as well so it's really nice. Shifter, handbrake, never really use them but just in case I've got one. <laughs> okay, die Geräusche waren wirklich sehr schön. The wheel rim from Cube Controls, the CSX3 that I did run is being replaced actually for the new Mercedes AMG wheel. So I haven't got it yet. That's my old one, but it's, it's never really let me down. So I, I, I like that one. I've got a SimCube Ultimate Base. I've got the grid engineering dash, which is super useful if you want to get information on there about what tire wear or how much fuel you've got left and that sort of thing. It gives you really good and lots of information on there. I've got the triple monitor stands equipped, but and it's probably the biggest change since that last setup video. I've gone from triples to a single monitor widescreen, the Samsung G9 Odyssey 49 inch monitor. I, I feel like for sim racing, FPS is really, really important. Triples okay. just sucked all the FPS out of my PC. So this gives me that ability to, um, that might be my DPD delivery. Sorry. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. What is that? It's not even my parcel. Where were we? Obviously the rig is the same rig as two uh -oh. and a half years ago. Pro Sim rig PSR1 and the PC is an absolute beast. It's a new Oh, das ist auch wieder so ein Rig, wo der PC oben steht. Uh, ich hätte da ja immer ein bisschen Angst. One that overclockers have sent Mercedes to and then they've sent it to me. It's got some insane AMD parts. It's pretty much doubled my FPS output compared to my old one. So um, that's really, really useful. These games are getting more sort of taxing on the PCs these days. I stream as well. So to have a really, really beast, powerful PC is it's really important. So it's got the... Das macht leider aber auch nichts. Also wenn die... Also das immer noch nicht so gut optimiert ist. Streaming camera up here, the light, all of these bits and pieces that I've added on over the years. And to be fair, like it's, it's taken a good two and a half years just adding things on and improving bits and pieces. And to be honest with you, those of you that nerd out over your sim setups at home will understand you're never quite 100% happy with it. You're always like thinking, what can I get next? What can I get next? And I'm the same, like I want to replace this monitor. I want to replace the wheel rim and the seat as well like it, it just it's a never-ending pit so you do have to stand back for a minute and go right this is enough for what i need it for i'm not going to spend any more money so hast gehört ja okay da würde ich würde ich jetzt wirklich mit ihm übereinstimmen es reicht jetzt okay wir sind uns einig das reicht jetzt danke man muss das ja mal sagen man muss ja auch mal nee nee du brauch, du bist ruhig auch du nicht nein Nein, ich krieg keinen Bruder. Nein. Mm -mm. Wohin? Nee. Mm -mm. Biester. What else is there? Obviously the Still Series headset, wireless, wireless headsets by the way are a game changer because I can go down to the kitchen, make a brew, and I, don't, I can still talk to my teammates or my mates. So if you haven't got one, get one because they are unreal. Mm. Obviously What? over here we've got the Nobles chair, Mercedes chair, which extremely comfy perfect for what i need it for i mean i do all sorts of it you know from playing cod to looking at data to making videos and all sorts i think that's pretty much it in terms of what equipment i've got in here so i think i'll jump in i've, I've loaded up acc at nurburgring in the merc and i'll just do a little lap just to show you what i see when i drive because i always get so many questions on like What FOV do you use? How far away is the monitor from your wheel? And doing a video like this just really answers all those questions. I mean, you can see the FOV I'm running right now and how far away the monitor's from my face and how high it is and how low I'm sat down. One thing I will do is take my shoes off and put the boots on because... That's ja aber richtig krass, wenn man jetzt mal guckt, wie hoch er über dem Dings sitzt. Also wie hoch er über dem Horizont ist. Normalerweise, also 
was heißt normalerweise? Also das, was ich bis, äh, bis dato erlesen habe oder von anderen Fahrern gehört habe, ist der Horizont hier und ein Stückchen darunter das hier. Das ist ja richtig krass. Aber also James wird sehr viel mehr Ahnung haben, wie das im realen Auto ist. Er sitzt halt sehr hoch über der Motorhaube. Interessant. Okay. One thing I will do is take my shoes off and put the boots on because these shoes are too thick for my feet and these pedals. So just run these Sparco Sim ones. They're pretty nice, quite lightweight, so you can still feel the pedals quite a lot. Yeah, I think it's taken me a while to really understand what ergonomically what's best for my body in the rig. You know, in the Formula style play seats I've had and stuff in the past, I've always found it's not really good for my back. Since getting this rig, it was a big improvement in that area. But over the course of the two and a half years since that last video, I've just I've tweaked things. I've tweaked the wheel height, the distance of the wheel from my body, the distance from of the pedals from my body, the height of the pedals, all these different things that I, I just want it to be as healthy as possible because I'm, I'm in this rig quite a lot. And if I'm in the rig for hours on end and doing you know two hour stints or if I'm on the rig for six hours doing practice or whatever, I want it. Oh, OK, this is for you. Ooh. to be somewhat okay for my body because in the long run you know I don't, I don't want to mess around with that sort of stuff you know so I think now it's, in, it's finally in a good place where I'm comfortable I can do a lot of practice I can do hard practice I can do long race stints and I'm I'm not really aching or anything so and obviously up here is where I, where I read you guys in chat this is where I read you guys telling me how to drive better most of the time or To be fair, my chat's pretty good. It's very, very supportive and very encouraging. So I, I enjoy reading up there, whatever's being said. Okay, that is enough lapping for one day. Das ist aber auch wirklich ein sehr kleiner Raum, ne? Uh. That is basically it. So a lot different to two and a half years ago. Let me know in the comments below what setups you've got at home. I always like reading how people have their setups configured. Let me know what you think of mine. Could I do things better? What would you recommend? Do you like it? And yeah, like the video, sub to the channel, all that good stuff. Uh, I've enjoyed making it. I'll probably do another one in like two or three years time when the thing looks completely different again. <laughs> That's the guy. Because uh, as I say, I'm always looking to improve it and change it. But that is it. So take care, have a good day. Ciao for now. Ciao. It's always so interesting to see how die meisten Menschen, also wenn sie, auch wenn sie Content Creator sind, nicht so komplett ausrasten. Die ganze, also einige Content Creator rasten immer so aus und dann guckst du dir so die Rigs an und denkst dir so, wow, okay, äh, what? Und dann schaust du bei einigen anderen rein und da ist das doch relativ, naja, wie soll ich sagen? Nicht dezent ist, äh, nicht so de dezent ist das falsche Wort, sondern effektiv, effektiv. Misa Sam, willst du, Misa, willst du jetzt einfach sagen, ich bin kein Normalo? M Was? Wow. Voll den Disc gekriegt von Chat, ey. Und ich wollte auch gerade sagen, ich gucke auch immer gerne meinen Chat und lese, was er geschrieben hat. <lacht>